feels like I've been waiting ages for this car to arrive. It completes the Volkswagen SUV lineup, and that starts off with the big boy up top, the Touareg, then you get the Tiguan, the Tiguan Allspace, of course, you get the T-Cross, and now this, the T-Rock. Think of it as a Volkswagen Golf, but sitting on a little bit of a higher platform with a very stylish coupe-esque exterior, and that is what you've got here. When we first saw the sketches and the graphs of it being dotted around, I thought to myself, wow, that looks futuristic, it looks incredible, and it's translated into what we have in the metal here. It is a very, very good looking vehicle from the brand. I love the styling, I love the swooping lines, and I love the overall style for style's sake. But where things change from, say, a Golf, or something like a T-Cross, for instance, is this is the vehicle for somebody who wants a little bit of practicality, wants the compact crossover segment in their life, and that's something which is growing year on year exponentially. In fact, Volkswagen predict this space to more than double in the next 10 years, but they also want a vehicle which is incredibly stylish, something which looks like a sleek, sweeping lined coupe, and that is what you've got here. The one I'm driving at the moment is powered by Volkswagen's 1.4 litre turbocharged petrol unit. 110 kilowatts, 250 newton meters of torque. You also get a higher 2 litre motor within the lineup, but believe me, there is more than enough oomph under the bonnet here. You're also finding impressive fuel economy figures are very easily achievable. Volkswagen claim you can get it just below 7 litres per 100. I'm currently sitting on about 7.6 per 100. Not bad at all, and that's with a bit of mixed urban cycle driving. But overall, in typical Volkswagen Audi fashion, this vehicle feels solid to drive, feels great on the road, all power mated here through this 8-speed Tiptronic gearbox, and with all the toys and gizmos such as that virtual instrumentation cluster which I got specced on this car, the large 8-inch composition multimedia system with Apple's CarPlay, Android Auto, of course it's all your streaming services, climate controlled air conditioning, it's got the self-park assistant here, and I've also got this lovely long panoramic roof overhead. It all makes for a stylish and impressive well-packed vehicle. But let's think about it to conclude with the T-Rock. Who's this car for? Who's it going to suit? What are you looking at? Well, Volkswagen say it's not really going to compete with the buyer of the T-Cross, which I drove some time back at its SA Media launch and then later on extended test review. And it shouldn't really compete with the Tiguan. That's more for the family man who needs a bigger vehicle. This is for somebody who wants a little bit of practicality, but really wants the style in their lives. It's the Volkswagen Golf buyer that wants a little bit more crossover brought to the space. And then that is where this fits in perfectly. It's got the practicality, you get a boot here measuring in at around 400 liters in capacity. You get seats which drop flat and you get stylish lines, but all of it packed in a vehicle which simply ticks so many boxes.